So here at Marvel yes. at CES 2010. Yes. And you're showing. We're showing this is something that's a thin client device that is basically a full computer. It runs uh, the Ubuntu operating system, it actually runs several other operating systems. And what we're demonstrating here is the capability of this, um, of this device to do full 1080p H.264 video, to do 3D graphics, and to do it simultaneously. Um, That's very special to do it simultaneously. So I think uh, being able to do 3D and 1080p simultaneously is something that is unique to our product. So the processor you're using is Armada 510, right? This is the Armada 510. Yes, we launched this um, uh, about three or four months ago, and uh, right before our 610 that we launched this week. So, can you explain uh, what, the, what the plugs are and what you have here? Sure, the interfaces to this device, uh, basically we have an HDMI out that goes to a 1080p TV, uh, this is a VGA out, there's a gigabit Ethernet, uh, there's another display port, uh, there are USB ports, and uh, we typically, if you were to use this with a keyboard or a mouse, we use a wireless keyboard and mouse. And also inside, a, uh, it's inside card. here, uh, we have an SD card slot and we have a wireless, a wireless LAN interface. So, so this is like a full computer? It's a full computer, it, it has all the capabilities of a PC. It's just running uh, a Linux operating system instead of a Windows operating system. Uh, in fact, this is showing you a 1080p on a, uh, in a window. Here's something where you can go full screen. We do scaling in hardware. Uh, we have a full uh, GPU graphics processing unit that does all the scaling and uh, 3D gaming. And you can uh, launch a Quake demo right now as yes, well? Yes, so what I'll do is I'll uh, launch a 3D game, Quake 3. Launching a quick demo uh, at the same time, not stopping the video. You don't not even stopping need to stop the video. Exactly. exactly. So right there is a quick uh, loading the maps, and then uh, the video is finished. So that's that time. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's looping, right? Yeah, it's going so to the next video. And the 3D is on. Exactly. That's cool. So if you have two screens, you could output to both, or what? Yes, uh, in fact, with the 610 demo over there, yeah. uh, what we're showing is full 45 million triangle per second GPU running on one screen and a 1080p running on an HDM on the second screen. Uh, we can do the same thing here. Could you explain the difference between 510 and 610? Sure. The 510 has uh, is a, an ARM v7 CPU. Uh, the SOC has PC class interfaces, so it has gigabit Ethernet, it has uh, serial ATA SATA, it has PCI Express. Things that you would find in a PC class product. Uh, it's an all in one chip and a system on a chip. The 610 uh, is a similar core, but the interfaces are more for uh, very mobile products like handsets uh, and uh, small tablets. Small tablets, uh, cellular phones, those kind of things. Uh, the 610 is actually a little bit more advanced, is e even more advanced yeah. than the 510 in that the GPU is about 3x of performance. The 510 it does about 15 million triangles per second. The 610 does 45 million triangles per second. Wow. Uh, the video unit is also more advanced on the 610. Yeah. Uh, the 510 does 1080p decoding, multi-format decoding. The 610 does multi-format encoding and decoding. Oh, uh, so. 1080p encoding. Sure, you can do 1080p encoding and 1080p. 1080p encoding for the camera, for example. Yes. Or from a, some kind of input. Yeah, so typically you would, you would have a, a, a camera on a cell phone, or a camera on an HD camcorder, or a camera for a, a teleconferencing. You can do full 1080p encoding and decoding. It's a really, really neat device. Awesome. And when is it available? And how much will it cost? So, so information on that. Sure. Uh, so we're a semiconductor company. We, we, we sell the chips. The yeah. 510 has been sampling uh, for uh, about six months now. Will be production this quarter, and the 510. And you'll see devices like this, or devices uh, with a built-in screen, a tablet-based PC, uh, or tablet-based touchscreen-based device uh, in, in 2010. Uh, probably by mid-2010. The 610, we just announced this week, earlier this week, and uh, those are the first samples of, that we've started sampling to customers, and it'll be production later this year, probably in the Q3 time this year. There's no information about how much something like this could cost? Uh, it's up to the You know, it's, it's up to the manufacturer, but our our view is that these devices you know, could get to sub-$100 in high volume eventually. $100. Yeah, so today, this would probably be $100, $150, but our, our view, again, we don't price the products, we price the chips inside, 
Uh, but our view is these, these could get to so, it's very light. So, so, so it's like a, this is like a, it feels like a 500 less than 300 gram or whatever. So yeah, it's a very cheap, very neat device. Light. Very neat device. And it's definitely cheaper than a Windows Intel computer. No, no, no comparison. No comparison. No comparison. Uh, but performance-wise, you can see this is a PC class performance. It's great. Okay.